I had the time of my life making this movie. And part of that is what Star Wars, you know, means to me, and I think means means to a lot of us. Um, and a lot of that is also the people I got to work with, the incredible crew, the amazing folks at Disney, at Lucasfilm, uh, and the incredible cast, just like my favorite people. And we've got a few of them here today. Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, so we got some familiar faces for you. Uh, I'm gonna start out by welcoming uh, Daisy Ridley to the stage. Next, let's welcome to the stage Finn himself, John Boyega. Gwendolyn Christie is in the house. Captain Phasma. <laughs> Kelly Marie Tran, who plays Rose in the film. Laura Dern is here with us. Last, but certainly not least, we have Benicio Del Toro in a Star Wars movie. Let's welcome Mark Hamill up to the stage, please. When I read the script, there were so many unexpected elements, which is great in a Star Wars film, because it's getting harder and harder to bring new things to the table. And this is a real game changer. We wanted to give you guys a look inside kind of what we've been doing the past few years. And this thing is, it's, it's super cool. I think we should just go ahead and run it. But this is a really lovely behind the scenes piece. It'll show you a little bit about The Last Jedi. Everybody start. Three, two, one. Action. Episode eight. Gosh. The first film didn't even have a number. Ryan has written a story that's unexpected but right. Some of the stuff that happens, people are going to be like, oh my God. Even though I think I know it all, they throw things at me story-wise I never could have imagined. And even though everybody knows that it's the second in a trilogy, it feels like its own thing. Go. Star Wars is so cool because there's all these creatures and all these amazing visual effects. But all the characters are also so complex. Ryan needs to work on his walkie sounds. <laughs> Ridiculous. New director can't even just learn a walkie sound. It feels like the storylines are becoming more established. We're really getting to know these new characters. Also with the characters that we know and love we're seeing their lives change. Everything is being shifted in an opposite way to what the audience expected after seven. Ryan's made Star Wars fresh and new. I'm hoping it'll be a little shocking, but I'm hoping it'll feel real and honest. It's our most ancient story of good against evil, told in the most fascinating way, but it has a real spiritual depth to it. It's about family, and that's what's so powerful about it.